everybody! Hello. Today I am with Becca and Becky. Do -do. Not at all. <laughs> not at all confusing. <laughs> baby, 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 baby. Today we are in London in Becky's hotel room and we've been spending the day here. We went for lunch, we went for shopping, and then we thought, hang on, why don't we do a video? Yeah. What we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be talking about our favourite budget staple beauty items. So things that don't cost a lot of money but we absolutely adore and, and regularly use, buy. And yeah. regularly buy and use them all the time. So it's gonna be like a little haul, favourites, happy, all in one. Happy, happy, all in one. Everyone loves drugstore. Yes. Do you want to go first, Becky? We'll start this way. I'll go first. I am a bit of a magpie, so anything that sparkles. Ooh. This is a Barry M nail polish, and for me, my go-to nail polishes are Barry M. I love the colours, they stay on for a while. I just love this. And this one I got today because it just looks like, I was gonna say a pelican, but it's not. It's a <laughs> flamingo. flamingo. <laughs> I Literally just love Barry M. They're literally a couple of pounds for nail polishes, so every time a new colour comes out, gotta have it. My one is probably one that you have seen of like a million times before and I always rave and talk about this one but this is my foundation and if you if you haven't seen me talking about makeup before then hello but this is I, I've used this for about two years and this is my L'Oreal Matching Minerals foundation and I just can't bring myself to use anything else I've tried different foundations and I always 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 go back to using this it's just because it's so quick and easy and the coverage is Amazing! <laughs> when you film with a bee boy, you just end up staring the lens. <laughs> like, mm. Anyway, so this is, and it's just I've got the bra. I just love it. It's just my favourite. So my first budget fave is the Ilia Lengthening Number One One Six Eyelashes. I basically wear them every day. I'm not wearing them today because that would be too organised. But when I'm wearing lashes, it's these ones, and I actually put mascara on top of them because it actually makes them look more real. Because people are like, Are you wearing false lashes? And it's like. Maybe. Um, but these are f about five pounds, which, you know, you could get them cheaper elsewhere, but I, c I reuse these, I just rinse them in warm water and reuse them, and I absolutely adore these, and I always repurchase. So. I bought the same. I she convinced. did. She did. My next one is the Soap & Glory 2-in-1 Brow Filling Pencil and Brush. This, for me, the Archery Brow Pencil has been literally my staple eyebrow, because I hate doing my eyebrows, I'm so bad at doing them. And it used to be a felt tip pen and then the kind of colour on the end. And then I said once, oh, I'd love it if it had a brush. And they've just bought it out with a brush. They so, heard your call. Yeah. So it means that you can <laughs> brush your eyebrows. <laughs> so you can brush your eyebrows now. And then I just love it. I really like it. It's so easy to do. And it's eight pounds. I feel like some eyebrow products can be really expensive. So this one for me allows me to like try and keep them under control. <laughs> okay, next I feel as I'm doing mine in layers. It's a good concealer stick now i use my concealer sticks on my eyes or on any spots because on eye <laughs> basically on under eye and just there and like along my nose and then on spots because sometimes i get spots certain times of the month you know anyway, what I'm saying. No, I'm saying. No, I'm so saying. i always go for a maybelline one i have a one of a sponge tip but i've just picked up this one which is like you know a look you know that what is it? It's like a just stick. A stick. Because yeah. they're a little bit more thicker, and if you want a little those. bit more brighteningness underneath the eyes or whatever. You've got more control, I feel. Yeah, with sometimes with the spongy ones, although it's grey, I feel that it can be a little bit watered down. My next product is, an, is a brow product. It's not a brow product, but I use it as a brow product. So, I love a good eyebrow gel, because otherwise they blow in out of place. Um, <laughs> I have been using the um, e.l.f. Wet Gloss Lash and Brow Clear Mascara, but obviously e.l.f.'s not the easiest to get your hands on, obviously you can't get it in Boots or Superdrug. Um, so I've been picking up the Natural Collection Clear Mascara, because it does the exact same thing and it's £1.99. Um, the Revlon one is good, but that's about five pounds something and they do the same thing. A brow gel is a brow gel. That's one of my core staples. I can't not have a brow gel in. Very odd. My next, <laughs> a little palette. Um, this is my sleek one, and I think it's about ten pounds. It's the Face Form Contouring and Blush Palette. To spend ten pounds in the drugstore, it's gotta be good. Um, and this has got my blush, my bronzer, and my highlighter. 
I usually don't really like drugstore blushes because of the pigmentation, but this one is so nice. I wear it in the winter, the summer, I just love it. <laughs> like, I love this palette. If I was stuck on a desert island, I would choose this over like a pineapple. <laughs> oh my god. I just love it. It's so good. And it's like three in one. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> okay, next I'm going to go for a liquid eyeliner. And this is, there's been a lot of controversy over this because I did put it on Instagram not so long ago. And this is the Maybelline. Master Precise Felt Pen. Now, a lot of people have said it's dried out quickly. I haven't found that with this pen, um, and I found it so easy to use. It goes on really, really well, and also, you can, it, it, it is in the name, it is Master Precise. It goes on so well, and you can just make the most detailed. You can do like a thin look. I always go for dramatic, because I'm just like, big is better, but I always find that you can build it up, and it is so easy to use, and I've used, I've used a bunch of different types of pen, and I think this one has definitely been the best so far. Thank you, Maybelline. Next, I have a highlight, and it is the MUA, and it's called Undress Your Skin Shimmer Highlighter. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Embossed. Can we? we I love that. It's, it's like a swirly wave. It's just you're not going to be able to see, but it's just absolutely stunning, and it's probably the best um, drugstore highlight I've come across um, because it's not. It's in between. Like you don't. Mm, I don't really like a gold highlight, and I don't like a silver highlight. It's a really nice champagne color. Cheekbones, no. Jobs are cut done. My next one is the Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour Concealer. First of all, you wouldn't be wearing a concealer for 24 hours, would Gosh, you? No, no you probably <laughs> Although I haven't tested it for 24 hours, it does actually stay on a bit. Why longer. not? I know. I feel like I should be like, stay awake for 24 hours. <laughs> but I quite like, I obviously like thicker ones, but I also like stick ones, so like slightly highlight and mm. and go down mm. my nose as well. And this is so easy, you literally just glide it off. Next is the lipstick. Now, I have used Rimmel lipsticks for years. I mean, I've I've got more expensive lipsticks. I've got a MAC one, courtesy of my just <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Ruby, where are wearing it now? But I will always, always, always still continue to buy Rimmel because what I think is it? this cool, one, like, yeah, packaging. Pull it up. This one is Nude Delight. And Rimmel lipsticks are just, you can't go wrong with them. I've always used them and I could never fault them. <laughs> one of my lip products now is a Vaseline. So it might be a bit boring. Oh, but I love that one. But this is the Vaseline Rosy Lips and it's been like the limited edition tin, so like the old fashioned one, which is such my vibes. Um, but it gives your lips like a really nice rosy tint, which is really good, especially if you've got pale skin. Because it, for me, it doesn't feel like, oh, it's too out there, ah. Because it's just lightly tense, because I'm quite like a nervous lip wear. It's either like this or like I can do like like dark red purple, but this will do. I've got the aloe vera one. It's so good. Have you? Yeah, so the green one. I think it's either aloe vera or it's so good. And I'm like, mm. so there, <laughs> there, there we have it. Thanks so much, guys, Thanks, for coming man. and being in my channel. Thanks, everyone, for watching. I hope that was kind of helpful if you are looking for some new staples but don't really want to break the bank. And uh, I'm going to be doing videos on both these ladies' channel, and I'll put the link below so you can link to so we do some other groovy things. We're doing a Primark haul on Becky's and a drugstore beauty haul on mine. Yes! Bye, everyone! Bye!